Jerry Davis uh, final training session before Thursday departure for the amateurs to the uh, four team jersey tournament uh, but fraught with difficulties just uh, squad wise uh, you've had a couple of injuries you've had a couple of pull outs um, a little bit frustrating for you? Um, yeah, a little bit frustrating it's, uh, look at the time of season time of season it is and um, you're going to get that but look you know, that's that's football you know the like, under 17 is playing the tournament here now try part, you know, um, I had to pull out because of injury, but that's that's just football. Injuries are an unavailability are part of football, so just get on with it. It's an opportunity for other players. Yeah, well, you know, one player's misfortune is another player's opportunity, and I suppose it's exactly why you have standby players. Uh, but um, you know, like opposition over here is going to be of the highest caliber uh, in terms of preparation and what you have at your disposal. Are you happy? Um. No, not really. You're never happy. So you, you'd want more. You'd want you know a couple of trial games or um, pick a squad. You know a couple of training sessions, then a game against um, you know a friendly game. But yeah, it wasn't. It's not to be because of where we are in the, in the year. So it is what it is. Just get on with it. You know, I mean. Uh, matches over in Jersey, all on uh, uh, Astro or uh, artificial surface. Uh, training down here in uh, Kilbarrick this morning. Uh, of any advantage to you? Ah, yeah, I think so. It's just. Um, we went through a lot on the pitch this morning, in fairness, um, in and out possession stuff. So um, it was it helped that we're training on an Astro and the facilities here are great, you know. So it was great. It's great that Kabardik were able to facilitate us, you know. Um, but it made a difference, all right, you know. Really, really made a difference to us. Um, still a lot of quality within the squad, and obviously uh, participating. It's not just to make up the numbers, uh, the, the desire, and the goal is to go over and win it. Um, and that's very much uh, still within our own hands. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, look, it, it's going to be tough. You know, Northern Ireland are going to be strong. Um, at Jersey, the home tournament, we play uh, the home team. We played them a couple of years ago here, um, and certainly in the second game, you know, we won two one, but they were they were a very tough opponents. Middlesex are a, a, a squad made up of Vismian League and Conference League players, or semi professionals. So that itself makes a, a huge difference, you know. But um, look, we're going to have a go. With what we have, you know, um, this this is international football represent representative football, and sometimes, you know, players' own availability gives an opportunity to other players who shine, you know, and that's what we've noticed over the last number of years that you know fellas who come in maybe that weren't first choice in the first place come in and, and do the business for you. Right. Well, it's a it's a new uh, event on the international program, but uh, is there one eye on the upcoming Regions Cup squad that uh, players may be able to put down a marker? Um. Yes and no. I mean, if players do well and they're available for Regions Cup, then obviously, you know, it puts them in, in uh, the shop window, you know. But we have players from all over the country, you know. You know I think every province, you know, we've I think we've something like twelve or thirteen clubs, different clubs representing in leagues, you know. So, um, you know, the Regions Cup will look after itself when it comes around with the playoff and all that thing. But this is about getting a trophy, winning a trophy, starting on Friday night against um, the North. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's an international tournament. If we could win it and nick it. Um, over there, you know, it'd be great for us because um, you know, you know, more than don't win too many trophies um, at any level international. So, um, it's a great opportunity for our guys. I think uh, the likes of Mark Horgan might have been carrying a bit of a knock coming into indeed the Intermediate Cup final, but uh, the likes of Jake Don, the unfortunate uh, Crumlin United, had an excellent season, picked up an injury, forced out, and it looks like Hoggy is also gone as well. Yeah, uh, it's unfortunate. Look, you know, that's it, it's football. Like, you know, you look at look at Mark. You know, he's had a fantastic season. Look at Jake. Jake has been brilliant for for Crumlin, and it's very unfortunate. Like, and obviously they're a little bit upset. They are not there. Um, others, you know, you know, we lost fellas through various different things of work and unavailability, and a couple of fellas getting married and all sorts and all this. But like, that's just that's just the nature of the beast. But but you need to make the most of it. And uh, and we'll be focusing on now. Just more we started it. So as soon as we get the final twenty, which we have now, we'll be focusing on the first games against Northern Ireland next Friday. Okay, well, uh, Jerry Davis, FAI, Amateur International Manager. Thanks for talking to Striker in Line and the best of luck in the uh, four-team jersey tournament. Cheers, Amy.